Hey there, I'm Evie and today I'm going to be showing you how to make GIFs in Adobe Photoshop CS5 and KM Player, which is a piece of software which enables you to view and capture video files. So we're going to open up KM Player now and in order to get it running you have to click the play icon. This brings you to your videos folder. I'm going to cap the latest Doctor Who trailer because I like it. And because I'm lazy, I'm just going to do the coming soon graphic. Um, here we go. So here is the start of it. In order to start taking the caps or images that will form part of the GIF, we have to press Control G. This brings up the frame extraction window. Um, I'd recommend using the bitmap format, keeping it at its original size and extracting every other frame. So you'd have to input two in that box just because there is a one megabyte limit on Tumblr, which means that if you have too many frames, you're just wasting file size. So click start and then we play. There we go, coming soon, pretty graphic, and then it goes. Um, once we're done, we can just click close. Don't worry, you haven't lost in any information. This will be in the KM player folder. So file open in Photoshop and here we go it's in capture which you can find by going to documents KM player capture um and there we go um let's say we'll take about that many that should be enough and then we open now this is quite tedious unfortunately mainly because there is a utility built into Photoshop called load files to stack which doesn't work in my version of Photoshop and in fact in many people so I have to individually drag each frame onto the animation timeline which is a little bit time consuming but this is just to show you the workaround if you have got this problem so the way I run through this is I drag out each individual each individual bit over each other now this is technically i'm placing them in reverse chronological order but this is just so when i actually put them on the timeline they'll be in the right order it'll make sense once i do it so this is the last frame that i have dragged and it is what is going to form the first actual frame of the animation so we don't do anything with this this is the base of the animation onto which i'm going to have to drag every single image so copy frame this is the next frame in the animation click back to the first one then go to paste frame paste after selection there you go first frame second frame now we can get rid of this because we don't need it anymore we just have to keep going until every file is placed and here we go that's the last frame we need to place copy frame and paste frame after selection and then we can get rid of that so we have all in all 12 frames to this gif which is probably a good amount you probably don't want more than 14 frames um per gif unless it's a very small one or if it's in black and white and therefore you can afford to make it a bigger file because um a black and white file will be of a lower file size um so now what we need to do is we need to resize the image um you'll need it to be at least 500 pixels wide in order for it to display and take up the full width of the dashboard area um any more and to be honest you're going to be wasting file size so i would recommend sticking it at 500 unless of course it's in a photo set ask me about that and i can give you the specific measurements if you want to put it within a photo set photo set photo set photo set i've turned into sean connery brilliant okay so here we go so now we need to change the frame rate because as you'll be able to see zero seconds is too fast um so i would probably recommend doing it at about 0.14 seconds which looks a lot better fantastic um so now we need to go to file save for web and devices this will bring up this little window um and there you go that is under the one megabyte limit so that is fantastic i'd recommend sticking it the colors at 240 because at 256 um gifts tend to freeze and stop working i have no idea why i wish tumblr would fix this but they don't so i would recommend sticking it at 240. it also helps um bring the file size down a bit which is of course important and if we just play it here there you go remember also you need to have um the animation settings at 
looping forever because otherwise it'll only play once and in my opinion that's probably not a proper gif even though it is a gif file and then we save so i'm going to call this soon as you can see i make a lot of doc 2 graphics i'm sorry there we go and then we're done that is how to make a gif using km player and adobe photoshop cs5 i've been evie and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up because it really helps and also if you subscribe then you can get regular videos straight into your feed which is always wonderful